bomb ass vanilla iced coffee that you will ever have in 2022. Today I'm upping the game, competing with those whack Starbucks drinks. Sometimes Starbucks just does not hit right and do not lie to yourself. You definitely know that to be the truth. Definitely hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Hit the notification bell, all that good stuff so that you can be in the know on this video and on future videos like this here on the It's J Bunny channel. This right here is my co-star for the video. This is my sweet daughter, Anastasia. Hello. Hi, okay. So to get started, this special ice that I make, you can buy this kit on Amazon and oh my God, this mini ice freaking rocks my world. It totally takes your iced coffee to the next level. But you simply just roll the ice like this and it totally just pops right out. Hmm. I've been using it so much because it's so freaking fire that I ran out. Oh, this is what the ice looks like when it's done. Definitely when you're done popping your ice, set it in the freezer so that it's absolutely at its crispest temperature when you're ready to serve your drink. I'm using two of my favorite disposable plastic cups. I'll link the link for these down below. But the secret hack on this iced coffee that makes it so freaking good is the Starbucks top. There's something about the Starbucks top that just makes you love the coffee more. Even though their coffee isn't even really good, you just love drinking it because it comes out of this top. Yes, these are the tops that make your iced coffee so freaking good. Hack, when you go to Starbucks, order your drink, you get the Starbucks cup, and then order a cup of ice on the side, and then you get two tops for two iced coffees to take home. And you just wash it and you can reuse it. You know I freaking love Cafe Bustelo, but I don't know about you guys, but Cafe Bustelo instant coffee in these glass jars is no longer available anywhere I freaking shop. So I've upgraded to trying this coffee, the Nescafe Classico Colombiana. Oh, Colombia. <laughs> well, anyways, this coffee is fire and definitely a good option for making iced coffee. It dissolves really good. Okay, you guys, I'm bringing you in for a close-up on my coffee, on my coffee making station. This is about the size of the spoon I'm using. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take two spoons of the instant coffee and put it in each cup. If you're making just one coffee, obviously just prepare one cup. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab my Splenda and put two spoons of that. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to my fridge and fill these up with filtered water. Okay, you guys, next thing we're gonna do is stir these up, put them on a countertop, and vigorously move your spoon back and forth. And check out the foam action that you're going to get from your iced coffee just by doing this method for a few seconds. Yeah, it really foams up. That's what we want. Okay, you guys, the next thing you wanna add into this bomb iced coffee is, of course, half and half. I'm gonna be adding some half and half, and then boom, this is totally my new favorite coffee staple to have in my coffee bar, okay? It's called Shibani Coffee Creamer. You can get it in a bunch of flavors. They're all fire and in today's video today's recipe i'm going to be using the vanilla one okay you guys let's go ahead with that half and half now this i'm gonna use a little bit less of this one just because it's kind of um, a stronger flavor okay you guys i am back for this epic ice moment with anastasia and you're not just gonna need that gourmet ice, you're also gonna need this fabulous ice. Also made with ice trays, you guys. I'll put the link down for both ice cubes featured in this recipe. We have our iced coffee, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, seven big ice cubes. And then look what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our we're gonna take our scooper. You're just gonna pile this bad boy up with these special ice Ooh, now tell me that freaking doesn't look icy and refreshing, so freaking bomb. Okay guys, so the final step in the iced coffee is to add the Starbucks top, and it fits perfectly on, and of course, we have to give you guys the taste test. Swirl it. Really get it icy. <sighs> wow. It is like 80 degrees in my house, even with the AC on. It is so freaking hot in Miami this summer. And I mean, I'm loving it, but an iced coffee like this, yo, it hits. So smash the like button, comment down below if you try this recipe. I guarantee that you're gonna freaking love it. And compared to buying your coffees out every day, not only does it taste better, but it's gonna save you money. So win-win, I love it. I wanted to share it with you guys. And it was a fun activity for me and baby Anastasia. So thanks for joining me on another video. Cheers, you guys. And have a great freaking rest of your day. I'll see you back on my next video. Bye, guys.